you may recall a while back, I, I did a talking with John Shaw video about the best financial advice I've ever gotten. And I talked about the $30,000 millionaire. You know, these are people who make 30,000 bucks a year, but they live like they make a million, you know, thanks to, you know, low interest, low cost leasing. Anyone with just even a modest income can project the lifestyle of a millionaire. Well, it turns out that I was doing some Googling the other day and I discovered that there's gonna be a reality show called $30,000 Millionaire and it's, it's just that. They're profiling four guys, at least I think it's four guys, who basically makes around 30 odd thousand bucks a year but they have six to 10 credit cards and they're all max and they're going to clubs and they got the least Mercedes and they're living in the mother's basement because they can't afford anything else. And yes, yeah, $30,000 Millionaire and uh, the show there's a reality show that's coming up, and but it's not being based in Miami. They're they're based in Dallas. Uh, I, I suppose thirty thousand dollar millionaires are everywhere. They should have in Orange County. There's tons of them, right? Yeah, there's tons, yeah, there's tons of thirty thousand millionaires here in Orange County. Right? But anyway, the, the the motto of the the theme of the show is, you know, what I say. Remember, my theme was, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. Well, the theme of the thirty thousand dollar millionaire is, it's not what you make, it's what you fake. <laughs> and, and right now, it's, it's not loading, but uh, go to 30000 millionaires, dot com, and they, they got silhouettes of the, of the people, not actual pictures of their faces, because I guess they don't want to review them right now, but it's just a silhouette, and they, they just test the first name saying Brad and Colin or whoever they are, it's not loading, but it tells what they do and how much money they make. They're not everyone to make below 40 grand, and it and yeah, it's, it's, but thing is, I gotta ask, who auditions for this show? <laughs> I mean, you're basically admitting that you, that you are fake. Yeah. <laughs> you just admit, yeah, I'm a, yeah. I mean, after, now, assuming this show becomes a hit, assuming this show becomes a hit, and, not, and you'll become well known, you, now you're gonna go to the club and go, hey, it's the first. <laughs> it's a fake. It's a fake. I mean, <laughs> but, okay, but yeah, I, I don't know, but, uh, who knows, if this show takes off, they might have $30,000 millionaire LA, 30K millionaire New Jersey, right? <laughs> they might spin off. <laughs> uh, it's not what you make, it's what you fake. There you go. Maybe, hopefully, this will be their springboard to become a real millionaire. I don't know. You know didn't that situation guy become a millionaire because of his some reality show for the Jersey Shore, right? Oh, did it? I, yeah, I the, oh, the, 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 the situation. It's, uh, some, they, some of those are doing pretty well, and I right? some of those Jersey Shore people. Yeah, they're getting they're getting appearance speed. Uh, maybe these thirty grand millionaire are hoping that you know the club they go to after they become famous won't charge them you know the uh, the cover fee or whatever, and they might get free drinks and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know, but <laughs> I'll watch the first few episode when it comes out and see. <laughs> so there you go, thirty grand millionaires. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Dot Com Lunch. We're here once again in Irvine, California. It is 77 degrees. 77 degrees, beautiful, sunny. I want to say hi to all my friends in Vancouver in freezing their little tushies off, whatever. And we have people like it so much that came all the way from San Diego. So we have two from San Diego and San Diego. So people drive far and wide to the Dot Com Lunch. Hey, I'm Richard Fall. And uh, I live in Irvine. I run a, a marketing agency. Uh, Glyss Drive, V L I S S D R I V, GlissDrive.com. And uh, yeah, I'm just here to connect and talk to some people who are into online marketing. Um, that's it. I'm look forward to meeting everyone. This is jewelry tattoo. Jewelry tattoo. That's right, it's a tattoo. It looks like you're wearing jewelry. It's, it's basically body paint, isn't it? Much. Yeah, it's, a kind, it's the kind where you get the Budweiser girls, they're, they're naked, but you paint the whole body and make it like wearing, look like they have a Budweiser logo. So this way it's a uh, body paint. There you go. Do you have any other painted jewelry on you? No. No? Okay. Not that I know Okay. That's good. All right, Richard, what is that? That was good. Vermicelli and chicken. Vermicelli and chicken. Very good. And uh, here, what is that? Okay. Looks like vermicelli and chicken along with spring roll and egg roll. And me, uh, I went for my number 17. I'm a boring guy. Oh, what's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? This is just veggie. What the? 
Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Uh, plant based, not even. Oh, plant based. It's, 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 I didn't know they have a. I didn't know they have a plant based pho. They told us they didn't. They told. Is they told they didn't. They didn't. Oh my like, god. It's beef broth. I'm not. Oh, okay, okay. oh it's I'm beef broth. Sure. Okay, is it? Uh, so the broth is still beef. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. Okay. Well, still, I may try the next time. And then on the other extreme, we have beef only. Yes, good one, Oscar. Beef only. Huh? <laughs> yes. We have one extreme oh, yeah. to the other extreme. <laughs> That's right. It's all good. The tofu looks good. Hell yeah. yeah.